Okay, so I've had some people ask about composting and how I do it. And I've been doing it for many, many years. My family, my mother used to compost by digging holes in the ground, putting a bunch of compost in it, vegetable peelings, that kind of thing, and then covering it up with dirt. And that's all she did. And then you would go to another hole and you'd dig it up and you'd put it, compost in it and then coffee grounds, you know, banana peels, that kind of thing, and cover it up. But I do it differently. I've been trying different kinds of ways of doing it for years. So I'm going to show you how I do it. It's very inexpensive and it's pretty easy. Um, I have a little shelter built in my backyard, this little wooden area where I can put stuff that I really don't want to have seen, you know, like wheelbarrows and screens and shovels and stuff like that. As you can see, I've got my compost piles back behind here and I have three. People use different sizes, different kinds, but this is how I do it. So I've taken plastic trash bins. Now you can use the kind that are more, more thick, more like a that kind, or you can do this more rubbery kind. But what I've done, as you can see, see the handles down here at the bottom, is I've taken them and I've drilled holes in. You could drill holes using a drill, that's what I did. Or you could use, I don't know, punch holes in it some other way. Here's got little tiny holes. Because you need some area to be able to have it get wet and have air go through and, and get hot and that kind of stuff. So then once you've got the holes drilled in, however many you feel like drilling, then you want to take the bottom of the can off. Don't take the bottom of the can off first because then you'll have a really hard time drilling the holes. Um, once you have the, the, the bottom off, this is pretty much what your can is going to look like all the time. So the widest part, which is the mouth, would be at the ground. And then you always have the top half, uh, the top part of it would be what used to be the bottom of the can. Uh, these compost piles are not going to get really, really hot. So it's not really a great idea to keep um, anything in there that you don't want to have all over your garden. In other words, they're not going to get hot enough to really kill all the seeds that would be like in a weeds or uh, vegetables that have a lot of seeds in them. So if it's usually a good idea to keep anything that has like a weed, a dandelion or whatever, out of your compost piles because, again, it's not going to get hot enough to really kill it. Uh, it'll decompose, but you'll find that it'll spread all over the garden. So you really want to keep those out, put those in your yard waste can or, or some other place. Also, no meat products because you'll attract vermin, you know, squirrels or, well, I don't know about squirrels, but we have possums opossums and and raccoons here and I don't want to have any meat um, in there so no waste no cat waste nothing like that you can put paper you can put ashes you can put leaves you can put uh, vegetable peels all that kind of stuff so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull off one of these cans and if you you know it, it's up to you how often you want to do it but I have a nice space over here on the side where I can put my can so I'm just gonna I'm going to rock it back and forth and it's going to fall over because it doesn't get really, really full. And I'm pulling off this plastic bin and there's what the compost looks like whenever I've done that. So I'm just going to put this over to the side and that's where my new compost pile is going to end up going, right there. You can see it's right here. So. Um, I can see lots of twigs and things like that in there, so it's probably got some compost that's perfect for the garden. But because it's November here in Salinas, um, I have a lot of things still growing. Um, it's still the time of the year where I'm supposed to be getting rid of, not really putting out a lot of compost because I'm, it's not really the planting season. We can do carrots, we can do or, uh, onions, we can do uh, things that are in ground because it's going to get cold probably in, in January. So it's not like a pepper tomato kind of time here. So I probably am not going to shift this out to um, find the compost that I want to use. I'm just going to turn it today. And it's best if you make layers. So like this one has fruit and vegetables and things like that. Egg pills, egg, um, egg thingy shells, yeah, in there. You can... It's, it's best if you layer it with dry and 
uh, wet is the way they look at it. And we had a whole bunch of rain here yesterday. I'm probably going to cut back this rose bush a little bit and put some of them in there as well. If I wanted to make compost so that it's like for my garden today, I would take my wheelbarrow and one of the screens and I would put uh, the screen across the barrel of the wheel wheelbarrow and I would shovel in this compost and the little stuff would fall through and that's what I would use in my garden. It's like dirt. There's no smell to it at all. Probably some worms and that's about it. If uh, And then the big stuff I'd put back into one of the cans. So I don't know if I'm going to do that today. I'm going to start playing with this and see what it looks like in here. But I have some other kinds of things I'm going to put in here. I'm not going to put any newspaper, I don't think, but I have some other stuff. I'll show you in a moment. 